Hi, I'm Vicki. And I'm Joanne. Welcome to our kitchen. Today we are going to be making the most delicious deep dish skillet pizza you have ever had. Mm -hmm. It's filled with sausage and peppers and mushrooms and all kinds of goodies. I recently made this for a potluck at Gooseberry Patch and everyone loved it. Uh, I love the fact that it's made in a cast iron skillet and it makes the best crust. And this one just happens to be my mom's. That makes it always a little bit more special. Mm -hmm. The deep dish skillet pizza was from our Rush Hour recipes, and it was submitted to us by Linda Kilgore of Catanning, Pennsylvania. She told us that her husband created the recipe. Let's get started. We're gonna start by generously greasing a cast iron skillet, a large one preferably. Uh, a lot of people are sort of intimidated with cast iron, but, uh, and I know I was for years, but really there's nothing to it. All you need to do is take some shortening, really wipe it around uh, your pan, and then put it in about a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 45 minutes. And you'll just get the nicest finish. And then the more you cook with it, the better and better it gets. So really that's all there is to it. If you do have a few stubborn spots that you wanna clean off, never put it in water with soap. Uh, really a little water you can use, but coarse salt helps helps to take those uh, stubborn areas off. Next, we're going to press the thawed bread dough into the skillet and up the sides. I like to use a little bit of vegetable spray on my hands just so that the dough doesn't stick. Uh, it just kind of helps. Sometimes you need to spread it uh, the best you can and then let it rest for a few minutes and uh, finish spreading because it keeps otherwise it's very elastic and it keeps bouncing back and you just hold on to it there so it doesn't shrink back down okay the next step we're going to spread as much pizza sauce as we want over the dough probably about let's see that, that looks pretty good that looks really good mm-hmm Okay, for the next step, we've got some ground pork sausage. I'm just gonna use my hands here, kind of like they do in pizzerias. And we've already drained it, so I've got some sausage. I'm gonna layer on some green peppers, and you kind of have to work quickly because we don't want the dough to shrink. We wanna keep all this yummy stuff right inside. So I've got green pepper, and you can use any combination of foods that you like. I know Vicki likes banana pepper, so mm. that would be on here, absolutely. Definitely. I'd like some spicy marinara sauce. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, even though we have the pork, we're gonna just add a little bit of pepperoni in there. Of course. Gives it just that extra goodness that we all like. Mm -hmm. And then we are gonna top with a cheese mixture. I've got a little bit of cheddar. And then we've obviously got our mozzarella. Look how beautiful that is. It's so deep, kind of mm -hmm. like a Chicago pizza. And I'm gonna mm -hmm. let you top it off before we pop it in the oven. Just put a little bit of uh, Italian seasoning, and that should do it, I think. It's great. Looks good, looks mm -hmm. good to go. Great. We're going to bake it at 425 degrees for 30 minutes. Okay, our skillet pizza is done, mm. and it looks delicious. Yes. What we've done is we let it set out for about 10 minutes so mm -hmm. that it would cool off just a little bit. But look how beautifully it's stuck together. Looks great. It looks delicious. Let's I'm ready give to it a take try. a bite. Such a big piece here. I don't think I can eat all of this, <laughs> think, but it sure does look delicious. I think your piece Somebody is bigger than mine. Here. All right, let's give it a I gotta get a little time. crust here, too. Not all the goodness on top. What a nice surprise. The crust is really delicious. I think that deep dish skillet. Mm -hmm. It is, it's like a deep dish Chicago mm -hmm. pizza. And that cast iron skillet makes the crust so crunchy and just really, really good. Really well, good. Like we said, you can layer it with whatever you like. Mm -hmm. We didn't use as much pepperoni or the green peppers Love as you it. like, mm -hmm. but boy, it sure is delicious. Banana peppers would be good on this. I know, of course. Oh yeah. And I'd like oh, this yeah. red pepper flakes too, a little bit on the mm, top. That would be good. Just for a little kick. Well, remember, you can find this recipe and thousands more on our website at gooseberrypatch.com. And make sure you let us know if you try it. Thanks for watching.